Katie Nida knew that coming back to Boulder would not be easy. Unfortunately, the hardest place for me to be is in fact Boulder. Nida made history when she became the first female kicker of the CU football team. And then she wrote another chapter in the history books when she transferred to the University of New Mexico and became the first woman to ever score in Division I football. But on Friday, Nida was being honored not for her accomplishments on the field, but for what happened to her off. Nida is a survivor of sexual assault that allegedly happened while she was playing for CU. She shared her story with supporters of the organization Moving to End Sexual Assault, or MESA, at the annual event Brave, Bold, and Beautiful. That night, when I went over, the teammate that I trusted more than any other raped me. Nida says she was raped in the summer of 2000, while Gary Barnett was still roaming the sidelines for CU. It wasn't until after time and therapy helped her cope with her experience that she came forth with her allegations in 2004. A handful of other women alleged sexual assault against CU football, and Nida also came forward. So I decided the best thing for me to do was actually just to speak up and to tell my story. I knew that the story was going to make news, but I had no idea that it would turn into the media madness that it turned into. Nida certainly had to persevere through some extremely difficult times during her time playing football at CU. But she hopes that by talking at events like this here tonight, other people can benefit from her experiences. I think the most important thing is speaking to other women, is reminding them that they are not alone in what they are going through. While she often speaks to groups to share her experience, Nida has certainly moved on. She spent the last couple of years living in New York City and in 2006 wrote a book about her time at CU and the transfer to New Mexico. She's now back in Colorado and still kicking, now with the minor league football team Colorado Cobras. While it's difficult to come home, Nida seems happy to be back. Thank you, Mesa, for welcoming me home. Thank you guys. <laughs>